in this city where we are, where there are 144,000 Syrian refugees, uh, it's just how uh, hidden they are. It's quite remarkable. The first stop that we went to today was a, a distribution. Up against the, the, the front of the classroom in the school that we were was, this, was a big table full of brightly covered, colored backpacks. Open them up inside and you could see notebooks, uh, drawing pads, pencils, pens, pencil sharpeners, erasers. These were all going to be given to specially selected and identified Syrian refugees. This afternoon we had a really special visit with a family who welcomed us in. The Al-Ruthan family uh, invited us to see the home that they have established here uh, after fleeing Syria with essentially just the clothes on their back. Uh, the family's little girl, Tabarak, showed us some of her drawings, drawings that she had done in this program uh, with World Vision. So it was just really heartwarming to be able to sit down in, in her home to see what life is like for her. Uh, life behind in Syria would have probably been looked a lot different, uh, full of violence and conflict. The last stop of the day was at a school where World Vision is using some classrooms after hours to continue its programs of, of reaching out to, to students, providing extra learning and a chance to explore and learn and grow uh, through games and play interaction. Uh, and they were talking that, that when they get together like this, the, the boundaries are erased, that, that they are just girls interacting and sharing together, really creating a new family. It's about individual stories, stories of struggle, stories of hope as well, uh, and real stories of courage for parents like this who took their children to try to find a better life, escaping violence, and trying to build something significant for them uh, in, a, in a country that's not theirs.